Speaking during the launch, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Education, Ambassador Amina Mohammed stated that the curriculum of the institution was in line with the education policy of the country. What you're doing here is, is in line with our education policy of increasing access and promoting equity and relevance uh, in education, um, and especially to the middle and higher education um, levels. She went on to say that the launch couldn't come at a better time because the education system was undergoing huge changes that would help improve education in the country. I want to tell you that you couldn't have come at a better time. This is really the best time uh, for you to be, to be here. We are revitalizing and reforming our education sector. Uh, we have on our own done quite a bit. Uh, we are building capacity in all the three levels of education. And uh, we are embracing partnerships. Right, welcoming investors, embracing partnerships, um, particularly in research. And so we'll be looking to you to ensure that uh, we're able to, uh, to do that. Asim Chow Chan, Chancellor Amity University, highlighted how the courses they are going to offer are relevant to the country's development agenda. We have a large number of programs that have a lot of relevance for Kenya and the four pillars uh, that have been mentioned earlier. Um, for example, uh, this program around post-harvest technology and cold chain management answers the question of how can we help the most remote farmers increase the yield as they bring the products to market. Food processing and food technology programs we have. How can farmers double their income by doing more value addition, more at the source instead of just bringing the basic product into the market. We have programs in sustainability and oceanography. We had a big conference in the Blue Economy recently. These are programs that we have. We have a wildlife research institute. Maybe there is some information sharing we can do on research on wildlife, which is also so important here. We have real estate and construction programs that may be very good for affordable housing. It is also a priority in some of the other markets in which we operate. He went on to say that the institution had a research and innovation program that they would use to support the growth of startups. We do have these niche programs that I think could be beneficial, not only teaching learning, but also research and innovation. So we have an incubator where we incubate more than 300 technology ventures, helping young people develop companies. You come to me with an idea, our people will help you develop a business out of it and make big money out of it. So why not convert intellectual property and knowledge into money and big thriving businesses. Can we dream that from Kenya? Applause. For Bram Plus TV Business News, I am Daisy Wambua. For two hours, let's thank her. Thank you very much, Cabinet Secretary.